what's up guys I want to show you how to do uh, Instagram videos or how to upload those now you could just upload your your normal videos and it's going to crop or put the the letter bars in the, the screen but a lot of people are starting to want to do the the vertical videos so as you know Instagram uses a 4 by 5 image ratio so I'm going to show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve first thing you want to do is edit your uh, clips so I've got here uh, a couple clips together that is around 55 seconds so you need to be under 60 seconds once you have that um, you're going to want to set your your ratio for your uh, your, your uh, resolution and since Instagram has a max resolution of 1080 by 1350 at least the image resolution I've never seen a video go up that high in fact when you upload a video from your iPhone you'll notice that it creates a copy that's 720 by 900 which is still the 4 to 5 ratio but it's less than what you would probably expect so what I found the best way to do this is when I've got a 2k or 4k video I will set this ratio here for 1080 by 1350 which is the max that Instagram supposedly can take but in this case my footage is uh, full uh, HD or 1080p so I'm just gonna set this for 720 by 900 okay alright so you see the letter bars up here and we're gonna fix that here in a minute I'm gonna create a compound clip here that way everything is together I don't have to edit this individually all right now when I go on the color tab I can just adjust it once so you're gonna to want to zoom in and it's about 2.2 gets the effect so it it completely fills the uh, the screen the next thing you want to do is orient your clip so I'm gonna maximize this so that I can see this um, what I found is if the clip looks pretty good and you don't need to move it then you can just adjust it or leave it as it is or if it looks pretty consistent throughout the uh, the footage where you have centered the image you can just adjust this once the pan and just kind of leave it as it is so I'm gonna look at this and play through or scrub through this real quick I think I want to move it a little bit this way right about there let's just kind of scrub through and see if it looks like it's okay I think so I think so yeah that's pretty good ah now nah, right here so I can either move this back and see if that works for the other one it looks okay that looks pretty decent I guess I'm not gonna complain too much what I'm gonna show you here is a little trick that you can do um, with keyframes so that if you have clips that are not centered but you want it centered in a vertical uh, uh, field of view what you can do is create static keyframes not dynamic but static keyframes so what we're going to do here is at the beginning we've set this to 19.5 and let's see where I may want to adjust this. I'm just just for illustrative purposes I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. So I'm going to go here and back arrow until I get the beginning of this clip. All right. So right there. I'm going to right click here, add a static keyframe, and now I'm going to adjust this just ever so slightly. Okay? So at the keyframe right before it it's using as you can see 19.5 for the pan and then as soon as it switches to the next clip it's going to go to 38.5 so that it's more or less got the uh, the image centered and you can leave it like that if that works for you in this case it looks pretty good So I'm going to put a keyframe here because what I want it to do is kind of after the shade is closed, I'm going to have it pan across the back of the, uh, the seat here. So I'm going to put a keyframe right here, a static keyframe. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to add a dynamic keyframe.
Okay, and then I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to turn on recording here. And then at the end, let's go ahead and add another keyframe, but I'm going to have it pan all the way to the side. I'll go all the way out right there. Okay, so let's look at that. Looks good. Looks perfect. Okay, now let's export this so that we can get it ready for Instagram. So if you go here into the Deliver tab, you're going to want to select Video, QuickTime H264, Custom should already be selected, 720 by 900, or in the case if you've got a 2K or 4K video, you can use 1080 by 1350. Uh, I usually set this for best, and uh, then go to your file, select the file name, I've already put that in. And then uh, select the folder that you want to do it, add it to the render queue, and then you start the render. Okay, so once this is complete, you want to go to the file folder and you either want to email it to yourself or upload it to Dropbox, or in my case, I've got a cloud storage location, whatever it takes to get it to your, your phone. And then we'll continue it from there. Okay, guys, so we've got the uh, video on the iPhone here. We're going to go into Instagram and the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and post. So you see the image here. You want to click this button here so that it's not cropped. Okay. So you want to make sure that you click that so that it doesn't crop your image later. Otherwise it'll be closer to a square. So make sure that it's, it's uh, selected there. Go to next. Uh, you can. I wouldn't do any filters because that will compress it even more. I will adjust the cover image, something that will get the attention. There we go. How about the bird. And then after that, we just simply just post it. So if you got any questions, guys, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and look forward to the next tutorial. Peace. <laughs>